Uh, hello guys, um, welcome to uh, the new lesson on layout two switches. Now, in this tutorial, I'm going to talk about um, switches in particular and um, the properties uh, of switches and what are the functions right on the functions of switches, um, um, what they do, how they do it. Talk about VLAN. Talk about also. From this tutorial or to maybe to the next few tutorials, we're talking about switches. Now let's start with the two switches. So, what are switches? As I've said in my frequent, uh, my previous tutorials, I said that well, switch are more intelligent than hops. That's a um, very, that's a that's a fact. No doubt about that. If hops, if hops are what we are using in our network to do, trust me, we are not going to be efficient no efficiency no productivity because we are going it's going to slow down a lot of our work and we won't be able to accomplish anything at the end of the day now switches has come to our heat so now switches are like i said they are more intelligent than hope they provide a um, clean cost efficient and resilient internet work right so on their faster than routers why are they faster because they don't need to be looking at a um, network header information you need to look at ip IP address is the for what you route uh, information or before they route data. So all they look at is the internet either okay pa, 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 okay from here to here and so on and so forth. So um, what are the functions of switches number one? They uh, address learning, um, the forward or fatal decisions and last the loop avoidance. So loop avoidance I think I'm going to talk about that more when I when, we, when I get to um, STP that is a um, Spanish protocol. So now, but in this the next two tutorials, I'm going to talk about this uh, thing for future division and VLAN. So now, and uh, in address lane, in general, what they remember that is the source of address. That is, for example, now if um, for if a host connected to one interface is sending the data to another host, another interface, so immediately the host enter another interface the switch capture the address um issue the broadcast address all ports apart from the port that receive the, the, the data so that it will know the destination address of what of the data now the fourth the forward of fatal addition is send that what they look at the what destination address before they choose an interface so look at okay oh, this interface is for this destination address is an interface they look at the internal address and now with that they now forward it to the interface now look at it that's in the same that what they use this spanish protocol that is spanish protocol to prevent what network loop while still permitting redundancy so that means what network loop um, um if 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 a a net a, a network that is a, an internet network explains a loop trust me <laughs> it's going to it's it is devastating it's 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 it a really big 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 issue so that's why uh switches use loop avoidance loop avoidance scheme that is they lose the use of spt stp to avoid that now how does the switch make for the decision when it's mark address table is empty now so um you need to maybe just bring out the switch from the box okay now this is a switch so you all know that what the mac address it doesn't have a mac address in it now i mean your power on the switch plug in some ports uh um, rg45 cable uh which are connected at the other end of the host maybe using the fiber or using the uh, internet fast internet or using um the web I think I think, oh, I think that one is I think so. So then, so let's say that host A, host A now send a frame to host B. Sorry, if host A send a frame to host B, to oh, sorry, okay. Uh -uh. So if host A send a frame to host B now, so what happens? The switch receive the frame from maybe let's say the one of the interfaces fat is and is zero zero that is plot and so plot plot and so plot so um 
support and support right then um, sorry about that one yeah so that's it you see the frame from um, uh, it received the frame okay from from fa00 interface and we called host a mac address so now immediately it received the frame from that interface it record the mac address at the mac address table then it now flood all the interface except the interface in which it received the frame it flood all the interface except the interface in which it received the frame from so it received the frame form then uh for usb to respond so now immediately it's it flooded it with um uh with a broadcast address so immediately it flooded it with the broadcast address now the switch the in the interface with the broadcast uh with the address is going to work is going to respond with what is mac address so now immediately it does that it will cause that mac address table then what then forward it to that interface alone if it will uh, work as it, it, if it will and how it's going to forward it i think to all the interface in that switch so now the switch record the osb mac address table to make the point of connection next time what to communicate so there it has recorded OST MAC address table and it has recorded OST MAC address table. Now, what is frame filtering? So, frame filtering is the process whereby the, the, the switch won't transmit the frame out any interval except the destination address. That we call filtering, that is the filtering decision. Now, so before we uh, go to, okay, let's talk about post security. Now, we talk about post security, it is when we prevent and unknown person for example now you put a switch so someone randomly maybe you get just ah, okay this is the switch here nobody is looking at me okay just plug in um with, uh, it's a it plug in into the port of the switch so for security prevent uh is like a security measure in which it prevents an own person into to have access to our switch so have access to to, to our switch that is immediately import really plug into the switch something happens so that means that what you should act on it so is that you shut down that port or it invalid that or only restrict the port so that it won't accept or send any frame so those are uh i'm going to configure um, the switch and with port security so that we get we can know um how it is already, already been done now let's start so loop abundance let me just say let me just run it up here loop abundance is when we get to s that is i'm going to explain there so if no loop abundance can um i void avoidance avoid if no avoidance can uh will put in place the switch will flood broadcast and listen to the internet which that means it's going to cause the broadcast at the broadcast storm and the broadcast storm happens Discuss network overhead update of Mac address frequently and inability to perform frame switching because of what the go custom. So that's why STP must always be in place. And don't immediately want disable STP. Oh my god. Trust me. You don't want to know what happens. Except you want to see how your switch catches. So alright, let's Bring up a switch. Let me bring up my 290 3.290 switch. This is a laser two switch, right? So, uh, let me bring up this switch. Bring up this switch. Bring up this switch. So, for now, I think I will use two. Two should be enough. Let's just let me just use this two. Let's start. <laughs> okay. Then um first go here because the switch is switch. This is F A one for F A one. So now
from there we can see that it is on because it's a switch so you can see that this one is also on all right now for a switch we can configure a lot of things um so let me just start from Okay, this one out. FAO one, FAO six, FAO two, FAO four. Right? Okay, all of them are up. Mm -hmm. So, okay. enable, configure, turn enable, configure, turn on, on the team. Interface, right? interface F A zero one and F A zero two, F A zero six. They are connection to what? Connection to S two. S two.
This is a little fun. This is a little fun. Why is it 242? Uh, because it is last 28. So, why am I putting uh, IP address into the interface VLAN? Because a switch does not, you cannot configure this interface of a switch to have an IP address. It, must, it doesn't work like that. So, now, why? Because all the interfaces are all, are all belonging to what? To, to VLAN 1. So, that means a what? All of them uh, have this IP address, so that means the VLAN one is having the address. Then that means all these interfaces are connecting work to this IP address. This one, this one. Okay, it's up.
Now it needs if I put my devices here. So I put my device here, I put my device here, I put my three devices here. Now check something. Now if I connect them together, if I connect, we will connect them to this. This one is an extra PC. I'm sorry. Now these are the two PC that I put considering that I that are connected to my switch. Now for this switch, maybe we go to so when I say. Interface FA0 source 2 Switch port What do I think I'm doing here? Now, change the switch post Now, before I can see switch port mode passes Let me change the passes Mode mode If I say switch port mode, I cannot do This guy is asset to access dynamic auto Now, here I'm going to set it to access now, the next thing is what I'm going to do switch port. This is the switch port. Um, port security. Port security. Now, switch port, port security. Now, the maximum I'm going to set to this interface of is really to maximum. So, maximum 1. That is, I want it to go to 1. Okay. Now, Switch port. Um, port security mark at the um, one, right? So the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to um, configure this um, mark address. Here. Okay. Now let's use switch port again. Okay? Now the mark address says if I say the mark I make only I make it sticky. Now if I make it sticky that is it's going to record only this mark address inside this or I say the mark address by myself. Now let me just make it sticky because it will be looking for the mark address is going to be um, somewhere. So mark address sticky and I say switch port port security the ordinance violation uh, violation that is the violation is a word if at all anybody plug another um another device is um, another device inside this um for security another device inside this um interface then what's going to happen so it is designed to protect it with street or shutdown normally when you put this port security is um when you issue a port security on, on a on a on an interface then it's its mode is its default mode is shut down now you can put it to protect you can put it to restrict so if i still restrict let me see so let's just make it shut down let's show you something so put up port security violation shut down now that's it so now look to that Note that the FA02 is only assigned to this um, to this um, mark address again. That is the mark address of um, that is 02D0BC B4043. Now the mark address of this one is what 00D0FF and 0090. Now if I change this is now um now change of is zero to this put this one sorry okay now put 
put this one put this one now put this zero two this what can happen two wait now let's check two supposed to shut down but right, let's try again Start again. Is enabled, but okay, before was it only for disabled? If it was disabled, now nah, here it was enabled. Now nah, I didn't enable it before now, nah, I have to enable it now. So, what security is enabled? The post status is secure up, violation is shut down, agent time is absolute, and then secure static address is open to save. Mark address, total mark address is one. Um, can we go to mark address is one? So, 
<coughs> okay. Now, if I now say okay. <coughs> now, let me now put another. Now let's go this one. Okay, so what? Whenever I send, um, let's see, I um, whenever I send, um, no, the post security is still enabled in this interface as you've seen. So, then what happens with that? Okay, so let me see. So, it means that whenever, uh, a device is a um, whenever this device send the packet out, it's not going to go, it's not going to move. So the interface is going to shut down. Now from there, the world going to happen. Now you need to interface shut down. So that means what? Before because I've already set it to this map address again. So that means that means this cannot have access to this box. I'm getting it. So that's that. Now I can set this one to another thing entirely. I can say what is this interface? F is zero four. So if I set this interface, interface F A zero slash four.
Mais uma marca dessas, não é? Então, depois eu fiz um pouco de sutil hop. Mas deixa eu ver os truques. Então, é isso que eu vou configurar para a segurança. Então, em caso de qualquer um que eu vou plugar em qualquer device, em qualquer box. Obrigado.